we're in highlight near Flanders Peak uh, on, on a ridge line near 9,900 feet. And as we were walking up here, we had three pretty big collapses on this uh, kind of shallower, thick wind slab sitting on some rocky bed surface that has some facets at the ground. Um, so we decided we'd dig down, see what, what's going on. And the new snow and wind in the last week has created this hard wind slab. And it's kind of upside down, sitting on top of a little bit softer, preserved new snow. And then thick melt freeze crust and some sugary depth for it. This isn't representative of all the slopes and terrain in our area, but it is showing us where some of the unstable snow is near ridge lines, below cornices, areas that were a little shallower prior to this last storm and developed some facets. We did see a recent slide on a north aspect in the back of the Flanders Cirque and there was a large recent slide near Ferry Lake in the Bridgers. So the new snow and wind have definitely put some stress on some layers to create some instabilities.